Israel often touts itself as the only true democracy in the Middle East, with human rights and equality for all under the law. But a new interview with the BBC Arabic's Feras Kilani shows support for Israel now coming from one of the unlikeliest of sources, a captured Arab Israeli who fought for the Islamic State terror group in Syria. In fact, in a July 16th interview translated by the Middle East Media Research Institute, or MEMLI, former ISIS fighter Sayaf Sharif Daoud explains that Israel has not done 1% of what Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has done, adding that while there is fighting between Israel and Palestinian Arabs, Israel doesn't rape women or strip them naked on TV, and Israel doesn't kill with such barbarity. Further, when pressed on his defining ideology, Daoud tells the interviewer, Kilani, that he has wronged himself and that his family warned him not to get involved even with Hamas or Fatah, let alone the Islamic State. And then finally, when the former terrorist was asked how he sees his future today, the seemingly contrite Daoud responded that Israel is a democratic state, where Arabs live together with the Jews with equal treatment and without injustice, concluding that he hopes the state of Israel will take him back saying a person can rethink things and return to a normal life.